Select the gauge type, size, attachment and bracket which fit the part you're measuring. Mount the dial indicator on a firm surface to keep it still. Adjust the indicator so that the plunger is at 90 degrees to the part you're measuring. Press the dial indicator gently against the part and rotate the part. In this case, a brake rotor, one full turn. Keep pressing until the plunger settles about halfway into the indicator. Lock the indicator assembly into position. Carefully rotate the brake rotor a couple of times while you observe the dial readings face on. If the pointer hovers around a single graduation on the dial, the part has minimal runout or surface distortion. If it moves significantly left and right, you should note these variations. Find the point of maximum movement to the left and move the dial so that zero is over this point. Continue to rotate the brake rotor. Find the point of maximum movement to the right and note the reading. This will indicate the runout value. Continue this rotation several times to confirm the points of maximum variation. Check your readings against the manufacturer's specifications. If the deviation is greater than the specifications allow, consult your supervisor.